Florida homeowners, on average, are paying the highest cost to insure their homes. Yes, we are. $6,000 a year, which is much higher than the national average. But West Shore Investigate Sheldon Dutess explains some of the changes in the insurance market right now could eventually lead to some lower rates. For three years now, West 2 Investigates has introduced you to frustrated homeowners across Central Florida. I had a choice between 7000 and 2500 Fed up with the rising cost of home insurance. $3,200, I think, now. It was about, eight, a couple of years ago, it was about 1800 They want to chase people out of the state except for the really filthy rich that don't need. They're doing a good job. Unfortunately, though, we are still paying more just to insure our homes here in Florida. According to the latest data from the Insurance Information Institute, the average Florida homeowner is paying about $6,000 a year just to insure our homes. That's much higher than the national average, but the tide might solely be turning. The Insurance Information Institute says new insurance companies and fewer citizens policies could eventually lead to relief. More than 200,000 policies moved in the fourth quarter, and they are projecting another 300 to 400,000 to move this year. That is essential to a stable market. Mark Friedlander also says seven new insurers have been approved to write policies in Florida. And this will finally give Florida homeowners some choice on shopping their home insurance. As we've seen in other states, when new companies come into their markets, competition leads to more competitive pricing. Anyone who's watching this story is going to wonder when they are going to start to see those savings. So I know you don't have a crystal ball, but uh, what would you estimate on when homeowners could start to see some relief? We're hoping that some relief will be coming this year. Time will tell, but for now, homeowners at least have some hope. Like I said, I just want to paint a realistic picture. It's still yeah. expensive, still problems getting coverage. The new companies, once they're all fully writing, will help heading in the right direction to become a stable marketplace. Sheldon Dutez, West 2 News. All right, so so far this year, private insurers have taken over 76,000 citizens' policies. A spokesperson told West 2 Investigates it's just too early to determine how many depopulation letters will go out this year, but citizens expects private insurance companies to take about 300,000 citizen policies throughout the year.